Hey there, Zachary Zoom in here. Have you recently bought a nature conservatory and now people won't stop quoting the 2011 movie We Bought a Zoo at You? Well, luckily for you, I'm here to show you the bottom five things to do in that situation. And remember, we're talking about a nature conservatory here, not a zoo. So note to the editor, please don't put zoo in the title. And also, no alliterative funny business. Zachary Zoom in, not a fan of alliteration. Zachary Zoom in. Number five, we have get mad. People just think that you're upset because you didn't quite understand the financial burden that owning a nature conservatory would have on you, which they're not wrong. So when they bring it up, just be like, ha ha, it is like that. Even though deep down inside, you know that there are several distinct differences between a nature conservatory and a zoo. In at number two, say you haven't seen the movie. Depending on the level of friendship, they're going to make you watch that movie and they're going to watch it with you and the whole time they're going to be like, oh Zachary, that's you. They bought a zoo just like you did. Oh sorry, we mean conservatory. And let me tell you, they're really going to hit that conservatory with a lot of condescension and you're just going to have to sit there and pretend like you enjoy this movie. So whenever they bring it up, just be like, oh hey, yeah, I love Leonardo DiCaprio's performance in there. He really deserved an Oscar for that one. And number three, try to charge hundreds of dollars for tickets to get in. They're gonna know something's up immediately. Sure, you're all the way on the red on this investment, but you can't be charging hundreds of dollars to get into a conservatory. Start with a more reasonable 10 to 15. And as time goes on and inflation creeps up, increase your prices to match that or be slightly above that. And then in 70 to 80 years, $300? That'll seem like a bargain. Will you still be solvent by then? We'll see. And in at number two, explain to them that this patch of land is home to a rare beetle that no zoo will take in because it causes something called horse madness, which not only affects horses, but affects any animal whose name starts with an H, O, R, S, or E, weirdly enough. Sure, people might describe this species as being invasive, or smelling like manure, or causing a rabies-like disease in so many animals. But for you, Zachary, you don't see these as disqualifiers. Sure, this is a beetle normally found in temperate climates and you live in upstate New York, but you'll make it work. By golly, you'll make it work, otherwise the Department of Agriculture and Wildlife will be breathing down your neck more than they already are. Something tells me that the cast of We Bought a Zoo didn't go to such lengths for such a species, which makes this situation nothing alike. And in at number one, try to sell them a nature conservatory at a steep loss. Next time they bring up this topic, be like, ha ha, I did buy a zoo. But hey, crazy idea, what if you were to buy a zoo? Just spitballing here, I can give you a great price. A price that makes you go, whoa, what's going on here? Is this place even up to code? How much will it cost to get it up to code? How much money are you throwing down the drain just to keep this thing going? Does anybody really want this beetle around? Has there been a single day that the Department of Agriculture and Wildlife hasn't called you? And other questions of that nature. And then you just have to be like, haha, guess not. But hey, maybe if you make all the changes you need to, you can make a slight profit off of this. Or sell it for a non-bankrupting loss. Isn't that the dream? Hashtag winning. Luckily for you, your wife isn't around anymore. Anyways, this has been the bottom five things to do if you buy a nature conservatory and people won't stop going to the movie we bought a zoo at you. Will old Zachary Zoom in be back with more tips? Only one way to find out, and that's by subscribing. So go ahead, subscribe. And if I ever get out of the red on this thing, you know I'll be back with a video teaching you how to be out of the red. Otherwise, I think the mob might break my legs. Bye now.